So the fact that it was almost the 20th century for Ireland, I found that uh, just sort of morbidly interesting. I loved that when I read the script, there was this mixed media aspect. I think that shows like the jinx that have a scripted uh, approach to unscripted. We actually have the opposite. It's an unscripted format to scripted. And that's what I loved about this show. Mm -hmm. And so I was also excited because any American that gets to play a foreigner is very excited. <laughs> so to play Bridget Cleary in the 1890s, I'm also a huge nonfiction doc fan in general. So the fact that I was portraying somebody that actually lived in the 1890s and folklore went so past American standards of when witches were you know, a hot topic, that ended in the 1600s for us. So it was the fact that it was almost the 20th century for Ireland, I found that uh, just sort of morbidly interesting. And so I was just really Absolutely. Just honored to be a part of that story. You know, and coming from Teen Wolf, certainly you have experience with that. There, there is a little bit of a fear that is a recurring theme in my in my work right now. But honestly, it's, it's story-based. I mean, yeah. I, uh, I don't really care about a genre. I care about the story. And whatever genre it falls into, if it's a good story, people will come to that story. And so I will, I will do any genre uh, out there as long as it's the story is there. And, and her story is so remarkable it's in terms incredible. of the consequences for a very strong and successful woman and how, you know, afraid people are, mm -hmm. uh, not only in that time, but I think we're still yeah, seeing that today. It's, it's quite cyclical. I mean, it only takes two people, and at that period of time, males, to claim a woman had a changeling in her. She was quote unquote crazy, the hysteria uh, sort of, you know, theme that. It was quite sad that honor killings, obviously, are honor killings, and uh, but they were they were alive and well in Ireland in the 1890s. 